Hello everyone, welcome back to SK Shadow, welcome back to part number 12 of the Paris FC save where we are trying to take down the giants of France in PSG where we actually play PSG um, and they're about to sign Jao Felix which absolutely scares me so yeah mm. but it's not all bad, we are actually um, doing rather well actually very, very well. If I go to my schedule very quickly. Look at this. We got a win. We got a draw. Okay, we lost. And we got a win, a win, a draw and a draw. Um, Yeah, obviously you can see we changed to a 4132 actually. Which has seemingly worked very well. Um, it's It's good because it easily becomes a 4231 if I want it to. Because all I have to do is just bump everyone up further up the pitch. And that, that, that's basically it. Then it's just the 4 2 three, one, really. Uh, you just drop two back, but three in the midfield up there. It's just... It works. It works very well. Because just drop one of these back and then... It, it just very works. It works very well. That's what I'm trying to say. Um... I'm still drinking my morning coffee, so I'm probably waffling and talking absolute nonsense. Mm. That and... Look, it's a tactic that's not complicated at all. It's simple. Short passing, low crosses, get it into the box, kick it in the net. Slightly high tempo, counter-pressing, obviously your standard high line of engagement. Um, I'm not using an offside trap at all, that just hasn't been working at all. And I'm just, just, just keeping it very, very simple. Very simple, and hopefully, uh, when I get to the Paris Saint Germain game, we are going to do okay. Um, obviously, last time would have been the end of January, I think. I can't remember if I've gone over January transfers. If I haven't, this is what's happened. Obviously, we got Isaac Patterson, who's the new goalkeeper. We've got uh, Jacob Simons, which is a free transfer, American right back, which we are planning on planning on using at some point. Uh, Ante uh, Palaversa, Man City guy, paid a little bit for him. He's actually quite good in the play games I've played. And then we've paid a whopping £39,000 for a Victor Chust, who... Yeah, he's been all right. He's been... He's been okay. He's only 22. He's worth a little bit. Time for improvement. Time or, well, there's room for improvement. That's all there is to that. So, other than that, not much has happened. Results are looking good. Obviously, this tactic has worked very well. I just I just love how we've gone through most of the season with all this red getting four wins all season. And then, well, five actually. No, don't count that as friendly. And then we go win, draw, win, win, draw, draw. It ain't bad. Right, here we go. PSG, we are about to get absolutely decimated. Um, I fully expect to lose. This is the team. Um, where did my other striker go? For D, oh, of course, he's injured. I forgot about that. He's out for three weeks. Lovely. To be fair, I will say Laura has been absolutely brilliant for us recently. 17 appearances, 10 goals, 2 assists is not bad for a relegation threatened side. I should also add, before relegation, we I've sneaked out of the relegation zone just about. By point, I've just about sneaked out of it. But we got two very, very, very tough games in PSG, and then we play Olympic Marseille next. And last time I played them, um, let's just say they were they were um, on a 30, 30 game win streak. Why is everyone here unregistered? I don't have a lot of depth, do I? Oh my god, I've got my subs, and then that is about it. Everyone seems to be... Why are they unregistered? Were they all went on... Oh, yeah, they went on loans. 
some explaining to do on that. Um, yeah, everyone complained about game time, and then was like, I want a loan. So, y yeah, we're going to have to work on some depth. Depth is going to be the next <laughs> the next big thing. Um, I've just realised my tactic is probably far, far too attacking for this. Last time we played them, we got the first goal against them, and then out of nowhere it was getting decimated after that kind of blue balled me. Um, we're on a yellow card already. Fantastic. Right, there's one. <laughs> there's one. They are actually checking it for offside. Disallowed. Oh, lovely. Okay. Take that off the tally. Bremer. Interesting. Was he the guy who played for... Was it Salzburg or Leipzig or something like that? I don't know. Oh, why is the game paused? Go. It's almost as painful when you get highlights against you and Man City have got the ball. Honestly, it's a painful experience and we've got a red card. Why? Why? Just, just, just why? Why can't you just normally lose to a team that is by far better than you? It's always, you've got to have a red card, you've got to lose 5-0. It's never just, they just beat you 2-0. That's that. They have to top it off by giving you a red card. They have to top it off by your, like, your best player getting injured or something like that. It's never just straight up, you lose. There's no just... You can't just lose to PSG when you're a team like I am. You always have to put the icing on that cake, get a red card, get an injury, or it be 10 nil. Um, to be fair, I have just set the mentality to very defensive, so I am by far playing for a point. Which at the moment, oh my god, at the moment seems to be <laughs> seems to be working. Right, one well, them to Correa. Their team is just disgusting. Go on, defend that. Oh, good defending. That is really good defending. Oh my god, they're going... They actually are checking that. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, actually defending really well. I like it. Back, Dybala, oh my god, Messi, and he's missed it, oh my days, that is good, um, do I have another striker on the bench, I do not, okay, we're going to take off a uh, defender, Bamba, show us what you got, right, Diakate, Polaris, no, not, okay, this will top it off, it'll be a last minute goal, because you can't just concede at any point of the game. No such thing as a just a generic win. I was about to praise them. Yeah. What did I say? It would be a last minute goal. There's no such thing as just, just losing to PSG. Oh my god, I've been saved. It's been disallowed. Oh my god. We're going to draw against PSG. Ah, my arm just clicked. I don't know if you heard that on the camera. Ow. Oh my god, this is a happy moment. This is a happy moment. We quite literally just defended the whole game. We had one shot all game. Um. Wow. <laughs> yes. We did it. That That is important. I was not expecting that. Um, oh my days, was I not expecting that at all. We're now on a five unbeaten run. Right, uh, so we've got Gilavoggy out for a game because, well, red card. So we actually did that with ten men, so I will happily accept the fact we didn't take any shots and we just defended. That was scary. That was... That was very scary. Um, right, um, we've got our next game against Olympic Marseille in about seven days. Uh, I'll sim over to that day and then we'll we'll crack on with that game. Right, here we go again.
for another one where we're playing a team which is debatably in slightly better form than PSG. I am just going to double check that. They don't actually have that good facilities. That is pretty mad. I would have thought they'd have been quite, quite good actually. Let's just check their form. Uh, never mind actually. They were on a huge winning streak here. Yeah, there we go. And it was telling me that they weren't like 30 games unbeaten. They, To be fair, that's pretty glorified over a lot of draws. And then they've actually started to lose and then they're back on winning ways. There's a lot of draws in there, so I am... Who the hell are they? Belgian First League. Europa Conference League. Ah, interesting. They've had Thursday night football. So we need to capitalise on the fact that they're probably rotating, probably got a very tired squad still. So, that's good. Um, kept the tactic basically the same for this, though. I've gone for the idea of, with these better teams, start balanced, see how it goes. If we're getting battered, just play for a draw. <laughs> and then, otherwise, we can just sort of up, up the game a little bit if I feel like we can get a couple of goals in without exposing us too much at the back. Um, hopefully we get we get a little result here against OM. Um, would be nice. Oh, OM are in their groove. That is some great text commentary there. And by the seems of it, uh, we're going to have one shot. Or, oh, okay, we're doing better already. Two shots, and potentially not even a single highlight this whole first half. Uh, there we go. Right, we get the ball away. Cannot pronounce half of their names. Gerson, I know you know who that is. Gwen Doozy, I forgot they got him. Good save. Pat Pettersson has been fucking brilliant in this episode. Under. Oh, I do you remember he was meant to be really good. Like tipped to be like an amazing player. Shit, we've gone one down. Okay. Are they gonna review that? disallowed oh my what is with all the goals being disallowed recently obviously you, you probably won't get the context but if you go back and watch the stream me and Paul did actually uh, we've got a pentagon save going on where we are basically in China at the moment I'm with a team called Henan I had in two games nearly 12 goals called offside which was just ridiculous and I've had two in this episode well actually three because PSG technically scored twice offside and I, I don't really understand why so many are being called offside at the moment whether the game's been updated and it's just something that's happening or it's like a just a genuine thing just just a bit of coincidence Polaris, Laura let's go there's no way that was offside at all Yes, we're flying. Oh, we've finally made this team click. Finally, it's been so. Oh, it's been a painful season for the most part, but this latter stage, it's good. Two 0 Oh, <laughs> come on, we we're doing really well. I love it. At the start of the season, when I said I'd be happy if I could get fifteenth place. If I wasn't to like get absolutely destroyed, and if we was to sort of overachieve, if you will, I think we're on course for that. This win would move us up to 14th and well away from the relegation zone for the time being. And then after these two games, these were technically meant to be our, our tough games, if you want to put them like that. So, happy, happy days. I've got no attacker on the bench. It's because he's there. Damn, and we'll put Lopez on. Fans want me to drop him as well, actually. They, they, they don't think he's deserving of a, a spot in the team. Which is interesting. Obviously, we do just need to improve. So when, Jan, um, when the window comes back round for the next season, 
it's just going to be a case of buying better than what I've got, and then what I've got turns into not necessarily bench warmers, but strength and depth. Because let's just say we 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 seriously need some extra players to cover. Oh, that would have been a rocket. We are actually playing very well. Debatably, by far, been the better team-ish, maybe? XG's close. They've definitely had more shots, but I think our keepers really saved us. Boutte, Polaris, go. Go on, get a hat-trick. I'm pretty sure you scored both. Drag that a bit wide. Go on. Oh, another highlight. See where this is going. Oh, they got Paul Lopez in goal. I always thought he was out in Spain still. He was always quite a quite a solid goalkeeper. Still interested to see where oh my god that is a ball. Fair play if they score that. Jesus Christ. That was a killer ball over the top. What a ridiculous ball there for Gerson, Luis Enrique. That is a fucking pass. I'm not even sad I conceded that. That was a good, good that was a really nice pass. Anyways, lovely win. We're in winning ways, three points. Oh. To what seemed a rarity at the start of the season is now six unbeaten wins. But six unbeaten wins, six unbeaten games. So yeah, if you go oh, actually this game here actually, I'll show you this in the schedule. The Nantes game, 5-3, and then the Reims game. What a ridiculous two games they were off camera. I will just show you like sort of when the goals came time wise. Madness. Um but yeah, so five three, five four, one 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 one, nil nil. So it's three draws in a row, which pff, I'll take it against sort of the teams we played. Especially PSG and Nice, so I was not expecting results against them, and then we just beat OM two one. That's absolutely fantastic. You yeah, know, if we do go to the schedule quickly, uh, yeah, this Nantes game. So if you look down over, hopefully my face cam isn't covering it, but if you actually look, so we scored in the twenty third minute, the twenty fifth, the thirty second went three nil up. Then they scored in the thirty sixth, the forty eighth, and the seventy eighth, and then we got. Our others in the... Okay, so that wasn't as crazy as I thought it was in time Was It was the... Either way, 5-3 is mad. Yeah, this one, the Reims game, where we... 5-4. This was it. So we scored in the 15th minute. And then they get one back in the 28th. Then we score in the 31st, the 34th, the 70th, to make it 4. And then... We're like... I'm like well away, we're 4-0 up. Or four one up even, and then they go ahead and score in the seventy third, the eighty seventh, the ninety third to make it four four, and then out of nowhere, I get a last second winner in the ninetieth plus four minute. Absolutely ridiculous, because I was like, pff, I was really like just pissed off how how on earth had I got rid of like a four nil lead, and then out of nowhere, last second goal, and I was just. Shook if is the best way to put that. <laughs> Absolutely shook. Anyways, looking at the next set of games, we don't have anything too interesting going on until maybe Leon's worth showing, but Lil there, but it might be worth just coming back at the end of the season for the last two games or maybe a game depending on how tight it gets at the bottom if my form drops off and suddenly i'm back in the relegation zone you will see me again otherwise i'm going to keep it going till somewhere in this may period where we're going to end off the season season review and all that cool stuff because i want to get on with transfers for the following season if all things carry on as they're going which presumably they won't. We're definitely going to lose a couple here. If it gets very, very tight, you'll definitely see me again. If not, expect sort of Rens, um, Leighton Orient. We'll play those and then sort of celebrate that I stayed up. 
and then we'll figure out finances and transfers in a separate episode on its own. So, yeah, we're 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 doing all right at the moment. Form is okay. Fourteenth, that puts us. That is good. That is very good. We're doing all right. Season preview is still saying we're going to get relegated. Okay. Well, well, we'll soon find out. Anyways, if you did enjoy this episode, then please like, subscribe, check all the links in the description for um, merchandise and Discord if it is down there. Um, leave a comment. Come talk to us on our Discord. We love talking to you guys. Check out all the other videos. Go check the main channel. Go check the racing channel. Go check all that fantastic stuff. And other than that, I will see you, hopefully, when we are confirmed to stay up in the league. Goodbye.